The significant increase in mortgage rates has not only put a serious strain on buyer demand, but it's also preventing a massive number of homeowners from selling their homes in Orange County this year. This trend is only becoming more problematic. Stay tuned for a deep dive into the current state of the Orange County housing market. What's going on guys? Thank you for tuning in and welcome back to another Orange County housing market update. My name is Garrett Gann. I'm your Orange County realtor and host of YouTube's Living in OC. I'm a Southern California real estate agent and this channel is to help navigate you on the home buying and selling process as well as give you a little inside glance at what it's truly like to live here in Orange County, California. So as I mentioned, we are deep diving into the current state of the Orange County housing market. Let's jump right in. As I mentioned, many Orange County homeowners are opting not to sell their homes this year due to the swift rise in mortgage rates. Take a look at this chart representing the new listings in Orange County month over month. The orange line representing 2022 and our lack of average listings for this time of year. Rates at the beginning of the year were three and a quarter percent. Now in September with another high inflation reading, the Federal Reserve has made it very clear that they're going to do everything in their power to slow the economy and curb inflation. As a result, mortgage rates as of yesterday sit at 6.42 percent. That's its highest level since November of 2008. So many homeowners are not moving. They simply do not want to sell because they are locked into an incredibly low fixed mortgage rate. An incredible 72% of all homeowners with a mortgage have a 30 year fixed mortgage rate at 4% or lower. 55% have a rate of three and a half or lower and 34% have a rate of 3% or lower. If a homeowner sells and opts to purchase a replacement property, they are going to be paying a much higher rate and most likely higher property taxes as well. So for the most part, they are just staying put. This is most likely here to stay until forced selling down the road or mortgage rates fall back down to earth. Taking a look at the current active listing inventory, Orange County decreased by 88 homes. It's down 2% and it now sits at 3,638 continuing its drop since peaking at the start of August. After 30-year mortgage rates dropped to 5% last month, they have climbed from 6 to 6.42% so far in September. These high rates are further making home affordability a little more difficult and resulting in another drop in demand. Less demand has kept the inventory from dropping further, even with more of these homeowners that are opting not to sell. From here, expect the inventory to continue to slowly drop, as typically fewer homeowners are coming to market during the autumn market. The inventory will almost certainly take a plunge between Thanksgiving to New Year's Day. Shifting over and taking a look at demand, which remember is the number of new escrows over the prior month. We decreased from 1,831 to 1,756 in the past couple of weeks, shedding about 75 pending sales or down about 4%. It was the largest drop since the start of July. The high mortgage rate environment has dramatically impacted demand, dropping to new levels not seen since the Great Recession. Now, there are always buyers in every market, but expect demand to continue to be muted. With the demand dropping faster than the supply of homes, the expected market time or the number of days it takes to sell an Orange County listing increase from about 61 to 62 days in the past couple of weeks. This does keep us in what is considered a slight seller's market, which is defined as anywhere between that 60 to 90 day period. Just for context, it was about 26 days at this time last year. Lastly, I'd like to leave you with a price range report to illustrate for you guys how the market is moving in specific price ranges. Take a look at the price range you are potentially looking to purchase or sell in for a more detailed look at the specific expected market time. Guys, that is it for this month's Orange County housing market update. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned to see how the market continues to move and shift. Leave a comment down below or reach out to me directly with any questions that you have about the current housing market or living in Orange County. This is what I do and I love to hear from you guys. If you did find any value in today's video, guys, I ask that you hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out tremendously. And definitely consider subscribing as I am dropping multiple videos a week. 
for all things OC real estate and living in Orange County. Thanks guys and see you in the next video.